In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can use the combo box form control in your Excel report. It basically looks like this. So you give the user the option to click on this drop down and they can select a month from here. In this case, I'm returning the month in two places. One is here in an Excel cell and another one is in a text box. This looks very similar to the data validation feature in Excel, right? Except that it's not the same thing because the data validation feature holds those values in the cell itself. In this case, it's holding it in the combo box object. So it's separate to the Excel cells. I'm just going to remove these and we're going to do it from scratch. Also remove this one. To insert a combo box, you have to go to the developer tab, click on insert, and that's the one right here is the combo box. And then go anywhere in your Excel sheet and just draw it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller. Now, right mouse click, go to format control. The main options that you need is in this control tab, which it takes you directly to anyway. The input range, is this one. So that's what do you want the user to select? That's this. And the cell link is where do you want it to store what the user selected? And I'm going to click this cell now. The one thing you have to watch out for is that the result of this is not the text. That's not what's returned to it. So if someone picks June, it's not going to write June here but it's going to write the position of June in here, which would be six. Here is the option of how many drop down lines do you want in there? So I could leave it at, as eight. And here you can say if you want 3D shading or if you just want it to be flat. The other properties is if you want to move, but don't size with cells, don't move or size with cells. And if you want to print the object or not. Okay, so generally you don't need to touch these unless you really don't want it to move or size with cells. The main part is this here. So I'm just going to say OK and leave it. And now let's take a look. You see it's showing eight here and then I can go down for the remaining options. And now if I select June, it returns six here because that's the position. How do I return the actual name of the month from this? Well, I have to use a formula. What formula could I use? Different ones. You could use offset here, but I'm going to prefer, but I prefer to use index. So what am I indexing is the area where my answer is in. My answer is a month. So it's one of these. How many rows do I want to go down? Well, in this case, it's really simple, right? because I actually have that answer right here. And that's it. I don't need to move any columns, just have one column and press enter. I get June back. If I go back to properties, which is basically means if I go back to format control, I can say, well, I'm always going to have 12 months. So let's make it simpler for the user. I'll just put 12 here. Okay. So if I click on this, now I have all the 12 months listed in one place. I don't need to scroll down. So now how do I bring this to a text box or to an object? I'm going to insert a shape. So let's insert this one here. Let's keep the formatting as is, and I'm going to add a text box to it. One is going to be month that I want written here. Just have to bring it up, make it bigger and bold. And I want to put the actual month right beside it. So let's just do control C, control V. So I can put it here, put it a little bit down. Now all I have to do is a cell reference to the cell that's holding this month. That's December. So you can see that whenever you overwrite your text with a formula, it defaults back to the original formatting, which in this case doesn't really matter. It just, I want it to actually be white. So I'll change that. Okay. So if I select February, my cell changes and my text box changes as well. 
So that's how you can use a combo box in your Excel reports.